Lecture 1, Introduction to Urban Anthropology and Sociology. City and urbanity are one of the keystones of European civilization. Therefore, this phenomenon is studied and described by various disciplines. Some of them are sociology and anthropology. Both disciplines were formed at the beginning of the uh, 20th century and at the beginning have been focusing on two different types of society, societies. Sociology was focusing on the modern, industrial and urbanized society, which are defined as Gesellschaft according to well-known theory by Ferdinand Tonius. Anthropology, by contrast, was studying traditional and local society described by Tonius as uh, Gemeinschaft. Today, both disciplines are intertwined, focusing on the, the study of globalized, multicultural and hybridized society at the age of uh, global urbanization. The theoretical background for sociology and anthropology of city was made by Chicago School, also uh, known as the Ecological School, which developed in Chicago at the, uh, in the first part of the 20th century. As the date of origin of this school is often indicated that the year 1950, when uh, Robert Elza Park published the famous article, The City, Suggestion for Investigation of Human Behavior in the City, Environment. Uh, in this article, Park, Park uh, coined one of the first sociological definitions of the city. For him, the city is something more than infrastructure and buildings. The city is rather a state of mind, a body of customs and traditions. For sociologists and anthropologists for, from uh, the Chicago School, a city was perceived as a social laboratory. In fact, during that time, uh, Chicago could be treated like that. Uh, this city uh, has transformed themselves from a uh, small town into one of the biggest cities in the world, just only during several decades. The the theoretical background of Chicago School at the early stage was predominated by Darwin uh, evolution, uh, evolutionary biology. Therefore, a city was perceived as a web of, li uh, web of life which, in which individuals, like organisms, adapt to each other. The process of adaptation is continuous struggle for existence, uh, in this case, a struggle for city space. Such struggle was uh, determined by five-step process. Uh, the first stage is uh, centralization, uh, a natural tendency to concentrate people and institutions. The second stage is uh, concentration, a natural process of bringing together people and institutions with similar characters in the same, uh, in the same area of the city. The third stage is segregation, uh, selection of people and institutions in the city space. The fourth stage, invasion, penetration of specific type of people from one area of the city to another. And finally, fifth stage is succession, the definite conquest of the area of the city by one group of uh, inhabitants. The concentrated model zone by Ernest Vargas was one of, one of the best known the Chicago School theory of city and model how different social groups are located in the city. As you can see on the picture, there are five zones. Zone 1, Central Business District. This is a central uh, zone where the Central uh, Business District is located and, uh, has, and has highest land value. Zone 2, transition zone, mixed, uh, mixed residential and commercial, a large number of uh, old uh, building in transition. Zone 3, inner city, uh, working class or so-called blue collar zone, uh, consists of houses built to accumulate factory workers, but uh, had better condition than uh, the transition zone. Zone 4, 
suburbs, uh, middle class, white collar uh, homes, the zone had bigger houses and new development uh, occupied by middle class. And finally, five zone is a zone of commuter, commuters uh, uh, every day commuting to the city center. Human turn in sociology of city was uh, connected with research of uh, Florian Znanetsky, Polish sociologist. Before he moved to United States, uh, he did his research in Poznan, Poland, stressing the role of human factor in the process of creating and perceiving city space. Znanetsky was one of the uh, first sociologists who sociologist who apply the method of personal document uh, in his research uh, project in 1928 uh, um, uh, called Czym jest dla Ciebie miasto Poznań? What does the city uh, of Poznań mean to you? Another interesting uh, human approach uh, to research of uh, cities introduced uh, Irving Goffman in his seminal book The Presentation of Self in Everyday Life. For Goffman, uh, city space fulfilled similar uh, role as a theater stand. As actors play a role uh, on the theater stand, as individuals perform their social identities in the city space. Therefore, we need public spaces uh, in city in order to create our social identity. City, especially big city, creates specific way of life. Louis Witt in his famous article, Urbanism as a Way of Life, uh, published in 1938, believed that there is a, some specific um, specificity about living in the um, city that changed the way that people interact and believe. For him, crucial factor which create specific urban way of life are destinity, heterogeneity of uh, population, specialization of function, anonymity, interpersonality, and standardization of behavior. All these feature, features, all these features create specific pattern of culture, urban way of life. Mental map theory. Uh, Mental map uh, theory, uh, theory, theory was described by Kevin Lynch uh, in the book The Image of the City, uh, published in uh, 1960. Uh, in this book, uh, Lynch compares three American uh, cities, Boston, New Jersey and Los Angeles. Uh, and he compares the cities and looks at uh, how people orient themselves uh, in the cities. Lynch ag argued that people in urban situ situation orient themselves by um, some kind of mental maps. For him, there is a five basic elements that people use to construct their image of the city, so-called mental map. The first is paths, roads along which people uh, move uh, throughout the city, such as streets, sidewalks, pavements, etc. Next is ages, boundaries, which could be real boundaries, like for example uh, walls, or symbolic boundaries, uh, such as class or ethnic gated communities, or gangs or football hooligans graffiti on the walls. Uh, next is districts, Ar specific area, area with um, their own social and cultural identity. The next is nodes, uh, nodes is uh, central squares, central station when uh, different people may meet together uh, in one space in the city. And the final is uh, landmarks, uh, point of reference, symbolic buildings, symbolic uh, monuments, etc. All these five elements create mental map of uh, the city for their users. Semiotic aspect of the city. Anthropologists put, put special attention on uh, semiotic aspect of the city, mythology and symbolism. This feature is especially important for European cities which are uh, deeply rooted in history and whose symbolic space have created in, had, had created uh, a long derailed process by different ethnic and religious groups. 
Russian semiotics uh, Yuri Wotman pointed out that it is a complex semiotic mechanism, a culture generation generator. Uh, this very important aspect in the process of create, creation of identity of city. A city is too complex organism to have uh, uh, one unique identity. Social actors who are acting and living in the city need frame of reference, uh, in this case urban narratives that create a symbolic picture of uh, the world and give meaning uh, to such action. Actions. Also, social memory plays an important role, uh, allowing uh, residents to find their roots in the city, and this issue will be discussed uh, in the next lectures.